Climate change is real and its consequence is being felt in countries across the globe. Now, flooding from heavy rainfall is a current consequence of climate change that is devastating several cities of the world. Recently, Europe witnessed what was described as unprecedented devastation when rainfall meant for two months was experienced in two days in Germany. In Nigeria, Katsina also experienced 25% of its annual rainfall quantity in only 10 hours. And the devastation continues as the nation enters the peak of the rainy season. We are going to have so much flooding, expectedly, because the, the soil will remain saturated that once this heavy rain, rain, rainfall of high intensity comes, the earth, the soil will no longer be able to absorb it. It will translate to overland flow. More Nigerians now rely on and accept the authenticity of early warnings from the Nigeria Meteorological Agency, NIMET, and the Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency, NESA. But all over the world, the major problem with early warning system is a problem of dissemination and the problem of the capacity of the people, the affected community, and the authorities that will act to be able to understand these warnings and act on them. What has been experienced so far in 2021 is flash flood caused by heavy rainfall. With this, there is a high likelihood of river flooding from the Niger and Benue rivers. Flood disaster is said to be responsible for the most damages to property, livelihoods and infrastructure, affecting more people than any other disaster in Nigeria. In 2012, flooding caused a total of 2.6 trillion naira estimates of damages, comprising 1.5 trillion physical assets and 1.1 trillion losses across all economic sectors. In 2020, 68 people were killed by the flood, which also destroyed 9,709 hectares of farmlands as well as 142,702 houses. The flood also damaged 117,510 houses and destroyed 71 road infrastructure across the country. What uh, we are trying to do in line with the Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction is to ensure that there is substantial reduction in number of lives lost, substantial uh, reduction in the quantum of economic losses as a result of a disaster, a reduction in the number of infrastructures lost. Although flash floods have already caused damages in some parts of the country, experts in hydrological services believe a lot can be done to mitigate the degree of devastation expected as the rains intensify. In terms of the physical structures, I think it may be late in the day to begin to build the drainages. But you can be excavating, clearing the block drainages at this time, building structures for people to relocate those within the flood bank or the river banks. So it can be done now. Carrying out aggressive sensation program, let the people be aware of the likelihood of uh, flooding in the person those who are within the flood plains. Early cessation means that the rains will stop soon and this will result in dry spell in parts of the country, especially in the north. Rather than allow rainwater to cause flood and runoff into rivers and eventually drain into the Atlantic Ocean, Director General Nigeria Meteorological Agency Mansour Matazu says this is an opportunity to save water for the future. And of course in Nigeria we begin to think that this large volume of water always drains and in, into the sea, the Atlantic Ocean. So we have to, from our planning, begin to uh, see how we can harvest this water and utilize it. In the next few months the rain will cease in the north and will be in dryness for the next uh, five to seven months. Climate change is a global phenomenon that requires localized solutions, especially in mitigation and adaptation. Experts believe that Rather than allow excessive rainfall within a short period of time to cause devastation, governments, communities and individuals can begin now to adapt by heeding early warnings, making way for water to flow unobstructed and saving water in the days of plenty, preparatory to the dry season. On Nengie, fine face for Deadline 360.